Hey everyone, this is Ryan Corbin with Broadcast Buddy TV, the all-around go-to channel for all things broadcast television, where on this channel it is our goal to equip you with the tips, tricks, and know-hows to help make you a better broadcaster. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. That being said, we are here knocking stuff over. Here we are at the first update video for the video production trailer that we're building for the uh, fly pack. Make sure if you missed part one to check it out somewhere. Uh, in any case, uh, in the last video, we uh, did a little bit of an introductory to this series and I uh, showed you the uh, lucid chart diagram for what this looks like. So let's go check on the progress. How's it going everybody? We are here on the first update on the Icarus production trailer and uh, we have successfully got the framing down for the raised false floor. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of walkthrough and show you essentially what we did and by we I mean mostly John for the uh, framing. Let's take a look. Well I was going to start explaining this but uh, trains going by. See you see this? See what I have to work with? Obnoxious. Ridiculous. Anyway, like I was saying, so here's the framing that we've put down for the, uh, the floor. So the whole point of this is really to get a bit of a false floor because with the desk that are going to be coming in across, is to be uh, actually have those labeled here. So there's uh, the front of the desk, back of the desk, which are going to be 22 inch workspaces. And then there's going to be the wall that comes up for the audio booth. So the point of having the raised floor is so that we can utilize these channels for our cables that are going to go underneath. So here in the right hand side, we're going to have power. That's going to be our main shoreline and generator coming in as well as uh, running to the AC unit box, which is here, and then running those, uh, those two main lines back down into the back where we'll end up putting a transfer switch. Uh, to go between generator and shore power. Now, on the other side will be our data cables as well as intercom. So, Cat5, XLRs, and things like that. So, this will run down this channel into the back here where we'll be able to pull out in a pigtail and uh, plug into the back of the fly pack. Likewise, over here will be our channel for power. And then the fly pack, of course, will sit right here and butt up against this guy. So this will be our, our front space. That'll be our medium space for CG and replay. And then back here, of course, will be our audio booth. Now, with the uh, step up here, we'll have probably a 30 inch door here. So they will essentially be able to open the door, step up in to the audio booth. Oh, wanted to also mention a quick side note. One of the reasons that you want to keep your data cables, especially your audio, um, separate from your power is there's gonna be a lot of power coming down this one channel and it's gonna create a electromagnetic field, which we certainly don't want to bleed into our intercom. So we wanna make sure that we keep, since they're both gonna be parallel runs, a great, uh, fair amount of space between those as to not get any uh, 60 cycle hum that bleeds into our audio because uh, that's the last thing we need is a 60 cycle hum. So there you have it. We'll keep you updated as we go along. The next thing we're probably gonna work on is putting down the actual uh, plywood for the flooring and then uh, maybe look at boxing out some walls and uh, do some desk and stuff. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and we will uh, continue on with these updates. And like Pastor Ryan said, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we'll catch you right here next time on Broadcast Buddy TV.